Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to ET Ski Tutorials, and this is another episode of Unity Quick Tips. So today's quick tip is going to be going over the differences between C Sharp and JavaScript, and it's supposed to just be kind of a little bit of a little bit of an informational guide to help you guys choose whether or not you want to use C Sharp or JavaScript. So this video is going to be kind of geared towards the person who is just getting into Unity but hasn't actually gotten into scripting yet, and you're not really sure which language you should choose. So uh, one thing I want to say before I really start getting into this video is that this video is not going to cover every single difference between the two languages. There are a lot more differences that I did not cover in this video. Uh, so if you know any useful differences that are good to know, please let me know in the comments below uh, so that both me and the other viewers viewing this video can know as well and have an even more informed decision when choosing which language they want to use. So just want to put that out there. This is not the end all video of C Sharp versus JavaScript. I'm just scratching the surface and trying to give you guys a broad idea of which language is suitable for you. Um, so Unity uh, uses three languages or accepts three languages, uh, C Sharp, Unity JavaScript, and Boo. Um, I don't know much about Boo, so I'm not really going to talk much about it, uh, but I know that as far as the majority population goes, it pretty much goes either C Sharp or JavaScript. And I don't know this for sure, but what it seems to be like on the internet and just on the forums in general is that more people use JavaScript. Uh, it's not a crazy amount more, I just say slightly more. There's definitely a substantial number of people still using C Sharp. So uh, either way, whether you're looking on the forums, uh, what you're going to get more, more help with, C Sharp or JavaScript, you're going to get a little bit more help with the JavaScript, but there's definitely also still definitely going to be help for C Sharp. So let's first talk about JavaScript. So uh, first thing, don't call JavaScript Java. People will get mad at you because Java is actually something that's completely something else. Just completely outside of the realm of Unity. Uh, I believe Java, Unity JavaScript is inspired by Java, um, but Unity JavaScript is unique to Unity. You can only use it inside of the Unity engine, and it's really not useful anywhere else. I mean, you can still use the same like techniques, and you can learn about programming through Unity JavaScript, but you can't directly take it and use it somewhere else. You can only use it inside of Unity. Um, sometimes people refer to Unity JavaScript as Unity Script. Uh, Unity JavaScript, okay, I, I already said that, I was just reading my notes, but um, yes, so JavaScript is unique to Unity. Um, I believe that JavaScript is definitely more flexible with its syntax and it's just generally easier to read. Um, so uh, one of the things that makes it more flexible is when you are typing your variables. So whether or not you want to use a float, an integer, a boolean, a string, uh, all of that kind of stuff, you uh, can kind of leave it blank and you can declare a variable without saying what kind of variable that's going to be. And then as you go, Unity is going to adapt and figure out what you meant. Uh, but the only problem is that this is a little bit slow depending on the situation. Uh, sometimes it's really not cr much slower, but sometimes it really can be much slower. Um, so the way that you would get rid of that is you would put a um, uh, pragma strict at the top of your script and that would get rid of the dynamic variable typing and that will make your code run well, it won't necessarily make it run faster, but it will stop it from running slow. But you will get errors if you are doing something wrong. But I'm going to get more into Pragma Strict later. Um, so, yes. Um, let's t now talk a little bit more about C Sharp. Now, C Sharp is a little bit less flexible. Um, that doesn't mean that C Sharp can't do as much as JavaScript can. In fact, C Sharp can do much more than what JavaScript can. It can do a lot more advanced features. What, what I mean by less flexible is that you need to type it out the exact way that C Sharp wants you to type it out. If you type it out wrong, Unity's not going to bother trying to guess what you mean. It's just going to return you an error. But this is actually a kind of a good thing. It's a little bit harder to code and script with, uh, but your game is always going to be running at top speed. Uh, I mean, you can still make C Sharp run slow if you're doing something wrong, uh, but for the most part, C Sharp will only run at top speed. It won't necessarily run faster than JavaScript, but it won't run as slow as JavaScript can slow down to, if that kind of makes sense. Um, 
So when we're comparing C Sharp and JavaScript side by side, speed wise, uh, really sort of C Sharp is a tiny bit faster in some sense, but really overall, both scripts are both the exact same speed and you can create scripts that do the exact same things uh, almost in every single situation and both make them run at full speed. The only thing is that C Sharp will always run at full speed and JavaScript has the potential if you are coding wrong, if you're not doing everything just right, uh, then it can potentially slow down inside of JavaScript. Uh, but don't let this make you think that, oh, JavaScript uh, has the potential to be really slow. I mean, when you're first starting out, you don't really need to worry too much about performance optimization and how fast your game is running. Um, I wouldn't worry about that until later and it starts really becoming a problem. You have to get a pretty advanced game and you have to get a lot of things going in there before you can get a game to slow down, even on a phone or any really, really piece of crap PC. Um, so you don't need to worry about performance optimization in the very beginning. Um, personally, I would recommend JavaScript because I think there are more tutorials on JavaScript uh, and it's just easier to read. Um, and uh, performance optimization isn't really something that you should be worrying about in the very beginning of your game design career. Uh, so yeah. Oh, another uh, thing I want to say about C Sharp is C Sharp has um, access to more system tools. So you can kind of go behind the scenes and really work uh, things uh, that you couldn't quite just uh, in the, whoops, what's going on? I think my computer went to sleep just in the Unity engine alone uh, so you can go in there like say you can like create files or you can delete files and you can do stuff like that but you really don't need to worry about that kind of stuff when you're first starting out in video game development. Um, the last thing I want to say about C Sharp is that C Sharp is commonly used in a lot of different programs. Uh, it's not necessarily as common as something like C++ um, but it definitely is still common. I think uh, the Xbox uh, game creation kit, kit, is it called XNA? I believe that uses C Sharp. And I don't know any other things that use C Sharp off the top of my head, but I know that there are some other ones out there. So uh, if you're going to be jumping back and forth between programs, or you're going to be jumping back and forth with XNA, or any other program that uses C Sharp, maybe C Sharp is probably a good choice for you. Um, but yeah, so I guess uh, if you are kind of already a programmer and you're, you're already planning on doing some advanced things, uh, I would maybe choose C Sharp. But if you have never done programming before and you're really just starting to get into this, I think JavaScript would be a little bit easier. Um, but so uh, if you do choose JavaScript right now, that doesn't mean that it's going to be hard to switch to C Sharp in the future. You can always learn C Sharp and your same knowledge that was inside of JavaScript will transfer over. It might just take like a week or something to get used to C Sharp and then you'll be fully back up to speed. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I want to go over in this particular episode about C Sharp versus JavaScript. So hopefully that cleared up in your head a little bit and you know which language you want to choose now. Um, so yeah, I guess until my next episode, I'll see you guys later, and keep making games.